Hi, guys. And Susan, you are already there. Hi, Susan Cords. I'm a little early, so I was just getting together my um my little door prize. And so so um so I would have it ready because a lot of times I don't get it ready till it's um almost time to go to bed. So how are you doing, Susan? Hi, Clarabel Hernandez. So good to see you again, too. I am, um, hmm, got too much glue on here. Um, well, I had enough glue, but then it decided to scoot that thing down. I am getting a door prize ready, and I'm recycling an envelope which I oh look at everybody Debbie Hayes Patricia Stubbs Gail hello hello Kathleen Elliott Colorful Dimension Susan oh it is good to see you all all look at all of you and there's Renee Crafty Kitty oh you it's good to see you guys wonderful to see you all there's Beetle Chick Oh my goodness, Mitzi. Hi, Mitzi. Yes, I would. These envelopes, actually, Jeanette Cook sent me, well, she was sending me some things she had made, but look at these envelopes. They all came in these amazing envelopes. So, uh, what I did was I just cut off the very edge. And took out what was in it so that I could reuse the envelopes because they're just, they're black and white, but so pretty. So I um, covered up where the address was and stuff. And I'll be able to stuff the envelope through this here. And um, Karen Scott, hello. Samantha, hello. Goodness. And so, and then I had some stuff together here. And I'm going to put this stuff in this envelope. Just some of you who I who have won the door prize have been waiting for a long time for your door prize, and you're probably wondering where in the world are they? Well, I have been kind of in and out of life <laughs> lately. Um, and so, and then I started clearing out my area and rearranging my craft room and stuff. And I found seven door prizes that had names on them, but I had never mailed them out. And I think the oldest one that I had in there was um, one that was supposed to go to, was supposed to go to, let's see. Um, I know who it was supposed to go to, and I just said her name because she's in here. Don't remember. Never mind. Okay, Samantha Owens. She won one. There's one going to her. And let me see. I'm looking at these names. And who? Okay, Samantha Owens. What in the world? This one girl's name I know. Vicky Pine, you're one. Vicky, yours went out today. I sent seven out today. Seven. That's how many behind I was. And so they went out today. So hopefully in a couple of days you'll have them. And it's really um surprise happy mail when you get everything two months late. So I'm gonna try and get better at that. But um I was gifted. Yesterday in the mail, I was gifted postage stamps. And I said, oh, my goodness. And, and um, I just put them postage stamps right on those envelopes to get them mailed out. So here I'm putting in my business card. I'm putting in two Trivial, Be Trivial Pursuit cards. This is a thick 
thing that says co collect beautiful moments. Here's a message paper for a telephone call. This is a um, this come out of a out of a um, card catalog out of an old an old um, yeah you know an old um, yeah card catalog yeah from the from library. And here's a guest check. If you ever have a guest over for dinner, just write them a bill. Here's a time card. This is a little card that I colored. I did colored that out. It says, in my heart, I'm holding you tight. So I colored that. And then here is a library pocket with a library card to go in it. These are fun to put in the back of your back of your um journals and it's self-sticking so you peel that off and it sticks right on and here you go you win third place and at something who knows what you'll win third place at and here's a house mouse stamp you can put that on something here's a card that's one of the tim holtz pretty little girls very vintage I mean, the card isn't vintage, but it's from a vintage picture. Here's a saw. This is a saw. This, 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 I told this joke before, but, um, oh, there's Nancy Fraley. Hello. Good to see you. Um, and, um, so, but there's this joke about the saw and, um, there's, there's a joke. You you ask somebody, you ask somebody, you say, what if you were in a concrete room with no doors, no windows, all concrete, the windows, the walls, the ceiling, the um the floor, everything. And um all that's in there is you in a mirror. And how do you get out? Well, you look in the mirror and see what you saw. You take the saw. Cut the mirror in half. Two halves make a hole. So there you go. Climb out the hole. Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. This is a vintage playing card. Well, it's not vintage. 1987. I will not call anything 1987 vintage because that wasn't all that long ago when you consider I was born in 1949. And then here is a little piece of fiber. This is pretty. I like this. That's very pretty. And so we'll put that in there. And then I have two vintage, um, two vintage postcards. This one is dated February 15th, 1913. And it has, it reads something in German. And then here, this one is dated 1917. A one cent stamp on there. Forget me not. So those are, those are, def I'll call them vintage because that was way, way before. See there? And now I can just use that, fold this end over like this and tape it. And this is a, uh, this I put some paper on front, and this is a paint sample, and I'll write the address on there. And then I'll be able to, let's see. Oh, and, and remind me that whoever the winner is, i got to find out their birth month. So I can put their birthday tag in there. And so... And all them envelopes came from when Jeanette Cook sent me that. She sent them in these envelopes. She sent me so many things that she made. And she printed out, says, Deliver, delivery service, scrap and Lizzie unicorns. So I put those on the, um, on the envelopes. I just love them. She sent so many. And that was so nice. So nice of her. And this morning I was talking to 
to Ray, Happy Ray. I was talking to her because I had bought at her auction a little package of a little package of um, ephemera. Oh, and there's Lori Smith. Hi, Lori. That's wonderful. And so, um, so I had ordered a package of her ephemera, and I liked it so much that I called her and asked her if she had any more that I would purchase them because I want to use them especially for especially for um, my um, my happy mails. And so like in here, this is the this is what I bought from her, but they've got the most fun things in there. So that's what I want to use. And these are like a vellum. These are like vellum. They're so pretty. So and and oh look at this little lady. Isn't she beautiful? And it's kind of like a vellum. And they're real shiny on the back. So I don't know if they are stickers. Or not. It almost looks like that. Maybe you can peel that off of the back. Oh, they are stickers. Look at that. Okay. Look at that lady. She is so pretty. This one says postcards. And this one says you never know. Okay. So I'm going to put. And so she said, yeah, she's going to get me some together. And um, so I'll have plenty of things in my box. And so I'm going to put these in here, too. So this winter, see when I have little things like this. And these are stickers, you guys. These will be so fun to use. Now, um, I'm going to put those in there, too. Little things like that. I can put a lot of stuff in there. And then it only takes, it doesn't take a lot of. Hi, IB Elf or LB Elf. LB Elf, IB Elf. Maybe she be an elf. Sandy Rector. Let's see, who have I missed? Colorful Dimension Susan. And Diana, handmade by Diana, Karen Scott. Um Let's see, of course, a Gail. Gail is my, she's my left arm. Mandy of Mary Mac. Yes, just this morning, yours got mailed off, Mandy of Mary Mac. And everybody who is late. There's Susan Krause. Hello. Susan, look. Susan sent me rocks. Because I wanted rocks, flat rocks, that I could paint mandelas on. Now, I'm not good at the mandelas yet, but I plan to practice. Like this one still, I'm going to put a clear something over it. i got to find out some kind of a sealer and something that makes it shiny. I painted the whole rock white, and then I used the... Um, dot painting and I did that on this rock and it is so pretty I think it's beautiful and but this is just the beginning I'm just learning how to do this and so so thank you so much um Susan for sending these rocks because I can't find flat rocks I got them all painted white and then I'm going to be doing doing this and I don't know what you'd use them for other than a paperweight, but they're beautiful. I just think that they're so much fun. I mean, so much fun to do anything. But what I had ordered, because I was having trouble to keep them, keep my, keep them symmetrical. So I got these. These are actually, um, there's four different stencils in here but these are stencils that you can buy to make 
so that when you make your um, when you make your mandalas, you can you can um, you spray with varnish spray paint. I think it's just a clear coat of paint. At least that's what I do with my rocks. I put out for others to find. Okay, spray. Okay, you spray it with varnish spray paint. Okay. Oh, and Sandy paints rocks with glow-in-the-dark paints and use them to line the sidewalk. I have been watching. Anyone need some sinus pressure? I've got extra. Oh, Renee. When it rains, it pours at your house. Susan Ernest, how are you? Susan Ernst, I think you have, I think one or two of the um, door prizes that I mailed off this morning was to you. Monkey 911T. Hi, dear monkey. But yes, these, and there's four different ones. So like there's two, when you buy this, it was, I think it was $13 for this. But see, these ones kind of look the same, but they're not the same because this one, is is tighter than this one and then you get two 10 inch ones as well one is see you can really see on this one there's 16 segment and 12 segments so that means that the pieces of pie on here there's 16 and the pieces of pie on this one is 12 so the what pieces of pie are wider same thing on here 16 and 12 and so, but this helps you go with a pencil first. And um, maybe I'm going to do a live stream doing one of these so you can see how I, how, so you can see how to do it wrong. But I'm having fun with it. I am having a lot of fun with it. And um, because I just like Mandela's, they're so pretty. Clear seal. Hmm. I'll have to get a can of that. I will have definitely have to get a can of that. I won't put a stamp on here until I find out if it's going to go international or not. So, but there, I got a lot of stuff in there and it's not too thick. So that's good. That's good. I'm a little early. What time is it now? Oh, it's nine o'clock. Okay, so it is 9 o'clock, and there's already 40 artists in class. Did you all see on the, did you all see on, on my um, channel where the other day, yesterday, I guess, I put up a video where I made these boxes, these jumping boxes. They... You put them in, you, you can make a little card like a, um, like a Christmas card or birthday card or whatever. Stuff it in the envelope, send it off. Gosh, I had to make some of these and put them in, in the, um, in the, um, door prizes. But look what happens. They pull it out and it goes like this. It makes a box. It just pops into a box. I'm going to put this one in here. Whoever wins today is good. Where did I put my envelope? Oh, there it is. I'm going to put this one in here. So you already know it's going to just pop right. No, I think I'm going to keep this one because it's a little crooked. And I'm going to put this one in because this one's more straighter. Although I put a hole in this one. See, because I was showing how you can put a hole in. And then when you give the, the receiver gets it, they can put, they you can put a little string in here, a piece of, of like um, Baker's twine or something in there and um, hang it on the Christmas tree. But I'm going to put that in there too. Will that make it too thick, do you think? Yeah, thank I'll stick extra stamp on it. An extra stamp. Keep those postal people happy. You know, we got to make sure keep pay their bread and butter and bring home the bacon. Yeah, that's going to be in there. So whoever gets this will have that. Whoever gets this will have that. So anyhow, yep, that's what I made. 
Gail said she was very confused when she watched it. I tried to, I tried to um, do a, tried to explain it, but it's kind of hard to explain. Some couldn't quite understand it. So anyhow, tonight is ATCs, Artist Therapy Cards tonight. And like we always do, we um, pull 10 prompts and we pick at least eight of them. And at least eight of them and and um, decorate our cards. Now, lately, I've been giving myself a challenge before I start. Now, I don't give everybody the same challenge, but if you want the challenge, then you can take that. But um, like I did one of them, I wanted, I made fall challenge. I'm, so everything was... Thank you, Diana. I just bought three flannel. Well, I bought five flannel shirts. I gave one to my daughter-in-law, one to my daughter, and then I have three. So I love them. They're so soft and they're so warm. And I just love plaid. And so, hi, Pat Toodle. And so what we do is we pick at least eight of those prompts and we make an ATC card. Or you can make two or three. It doesn't matter. I'm going to make 12. The reason I'm making 12 today is I have these 12 stickers and I'm going to challenge myself to use those eight prompts to do the cards. But my cards are also going to have these eight stickers because I, I mean, these there's going to be 12 cards and they are going to get these stickers. I may not finish them tonight. But I am making, I'm, I've got some cards ready to go to Miss Karen's class. For those of you who don't know about Miss Karen's class is we, just a minute, I've got an intruder. Yes, Papa? Oh. I'll put them out later. Oh, there. Put them out yeah, there. if it's not too cold. Go okay, I love you, darling. Okay. Papa's in here to say good night to y'all. Not that. Okay, I'll be in there shortly or longly. I don't know. You be ready whenever you get there. Okay. So so far I have this many cards that are gonna go. And um these ones I made all Christmassy. And so those ones are all going. They're they're ready. I got the back signed. And all I put on the back of this one, like these, I put Merry Christmas 2019 um, from Miss Lizzie in Florida. So they know what state. And I made 18 of those. So those are going 18. And they're all pretty much the same, but different. These are the ones then that I made last week on our um in our group. Um, last week when we did and I wrote learning is fun I used all of the um I used eight of the prompts and but my my goal was to make my challenge was to make them for the children and so that's why I put learning is fun on them now these ones I want to They've all got little, all these stickers have animals. These were sent to me in Happy Mail, but this one says reading is cool. Here it says a day without reading is rough. And look at the dog. Read with meow. There's a cat. Chill out with a good read. Books are so cool. Love a good tale. Reading makes me happy. Howl if you love reading. Reading makes me sore. sore. And he's got his his helmet so he can go soaring. Books put a smile on my face. Any time is a perfect time to read. Perfect, which is a cat. And look at this dog with his glasses. Get your paws on a good book. And so I thought those stickers are perfect to go on an ATC card. So I have 12 of them. And I may not finish them in this live stream, but I'll finish them to hopefully have a mailed out tomorrow. But all of those will fit into a um you know, a small priority box, which is like $7 to mail or something, which is not bad. But Miss Karen's class, she teaches a class of approximately 16 children. And she teaches it through the Boys and Girls Club. These are ch children who are um, challenged or 
need extra help. And it's an after school program, but it's a regular class. And so we did this last year where we sent off um, the mainly the, the cards because the children would collect the um, they would collect the cards and um, they were used for different reasons. Most it started out that she used them for reward system so they could do the reward system. And then she added attributes to them as to where did they come from. She put up a world map. So she could, the children then could find where in the world these cards came from. So that's why on the back, I've got that Florida so that they can look for Florida. And, um, and so since she has children in her class this year that she had, even in her class last, last year, I put the year on. So as they're collecting them, they can remember what year that they got each card. And so I'm going to use the prompts, but I want to use my stickers. So that's my challenge I'm giving myself is to is is to see how I can make these cards to be pretty, nice, wonderful for these children. So now I'm going to pull the, the eight prompts. I found my book. It was lost. It's not lost anymore. And But everything got lost when I was moving things around. And there's a few things still lost. Like today I was looking for my tools that I use for my mandalas. And I finally found them in a box in the bedroom. But I had moved everything out of here so that I could, so that I could, um, Sandy Rector, hello. Um, oh my goodness, I hope I do not miss anybody. Um, yeah, I'm I'm getting everything now kind of organized and find where everything is, and so that's that's a good thing. I, I'm I'm finding out how much I love organization, but even still, right around me here, it still gets all piled up. But I'm working on it. I am working on it. Okay, so I am going to just pull out 10 cards out of this stack of cards. I'm going to take the bottom one and the top one. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Now these here prompts aren't meant to be used exactly as they're written. These are made to kind of joggle your brain. So as you'll see, as I go through them, I'm going, oh, here, this one says bling. Number one is bling. And that's number 99. On the list. See, I um, also each one is numbered because there is a list of hi hot threads. Good to see you. Um, they're on on in the file section on the um, Scrap and Lizzie Unicorns page. There is a a list of of the prompts that we use, and they're all numbered. Angela, how are you doing? Angela, bless her heart. Prayers for Angela for comfort. Oh my goodness, she needs that. She needs that today. She needs that right now so much. And so, okay. And I gave Angela permission today to put a, uh, I that she could put up a post on the Scrap and Lizzie Unicorns page. And the post goes for uh go fund me this go fund me is to help pay final expenses for her only son who passed away just a few days to, ago um her only son who due to cancer he had everything done possible to try to save his life but um he 
he passed. He leaves small children and a wife. And so the GoFundMe, I gave her permission to put that on, on the group page. I don't really do those kind of things. But for Angela, she is she is a wonderful lady. I've watched her videos. I've talked to her on the telephone. And this lady is like down to earth. She's real. And um, I just love her so. And she is so sad right now. I mean, she was sad when she found out that her son, his name is Bobby, when she found out that he, that what had metastasized in his cancer was not curable and so and now she has lost him and her only child so oh I've got goosebumps it's just so sad okay so if you see that go fund me you'll know what that's for that's for helping to pay final expenses for him okay and then we have a jigsaw puzzle piece And that's number 88 on the list. And what I was saying about the numbers is a lot of us have put together a ring binder with those pocket pages. And we put these things in the pocket pages, the items in the pocket pages. So then when we look, when we when we see what's there, we can go right through our book and have those pieces. I don't have all of mine filled, but I have a lot of them. Okay, that was a jigsaw puzzle piece. And then we have a feather. I always like using a feather. The feathers are so pretty on a card. Okay, paint marks with a wad of aluminum foil or plastic wrap. Oh, I'm going to definitely use that one. I'm just writing or plastic. Okay. And um, that is just, you know, if you have a wad of aluminum foil plastic crack, you dip it into um, paint and put it on your card. It makes for a beautiful background. Oh, and then here it says white paint. Okay, and then here it says a used postage stamp. I like them too. Gosh, I like everything. All of these prompts have been chosen by subscribers in by members of the group. Used postage stamp. And another idea for you all for cheap little stickers, you can go to the post office and just tell them you would like to buy one page of one cent stamps. And I think there's like 20 stamps on a page cost you 20 cents. And they always have different ones, different ones. Those are awesome. And so, um, so yes, the when you go to the post office, tell them you want just one cent stamps. I mean, so you get a stamp for a penny and a sticker to put on your, to put on a card or something. That is awesome because you can't go buy 20 stickers for 20 cents anywhere else. So get them from the, you can even get two cents, two cent stamps. There you go. That would be 40 cents. I had to use my math there. That was skills. Okay, now we have a unicorn. And then, that was 86. Gems. UPC code.
and then gears or wheels. Okay, so those are those are our our um, prompts for today. And now, when I say prompts, these are um, here. It says white paint, but you might say, "Well, I want paint, but I don't want it white." And you can use a different color paint. These are just to jog your mind, your memories. Um, if you don't want to use a feather, use a whole chicken. Well, no, maybe you couldn't do that. But a lot of these things, here it says bling and gems. So you might, you know, you count both of those. Gears or wheels, they can be made out of paper. They can be made out of a picture, out of a, of a, of a book, anything, gears or wheels. Or you can draw them. So you can, hi, Teresa Lilly. I see your name there. And um, so a lot of the things, now if you don't have some aluminum foil or plastic wrap, of course you can paint with a sponge or anything. You know, you can, it, um, it is because it is kind of pounced. Maybe you would take a brush and pounce. And so you can use this as, as like, um, here it says used postage stamp. And you might say, no, I'm going to use one of them penny penny postage stamps. It doesn't have to be used. And here you might have a stamp, I mean, a, a stamp of a postage stamp. You might use that. It just is to kind of jog your mind to let you give you an idea of what you may want to do. Okay, so I'm going to put the date on here. Um, now Thursday, I will not be going live. I, it's Thursday's Thanksgiving. And so Thursday, um, we're eating our Thanksgiving dinner at one or two, but then we're going to a Thanksgiving, um, thing with the homeless. And so we're going to that Thursday evening. So I won't be on live at all Thursday evening. Okay. Today's what the 26th. Okay, now, so I have my my cards here, and like I say, I'm going to do 12, because I just won't tell you, because I just won't tell you, and um, like I say, I might not get these all done today, I might have to finish them later on tonight or tomorrow, but this is what I'm going to do. So I got to run over here and get my um, get my aluminum foil wad, my wad of aluminum foil. I think I know right where it is. And I'm going to get some paint. Yep, here's my wad of aluminum foil, and then. Let's see. Okay. I have this paint. It says it's neon. Got my wad of aluminum foil. I've used it before. There's purple. Go figure. And so that's what I'm going to do first. Is I'm going to make a background. Um, now, let's see. So I'm just going to put, oh, that's pretty. Neon purple. How can you get any more prettier than purple? So, and I just have some aluminum foil, and it's just in a wad. 
And so then what I end up with is a painted surface. And it's kind of a blotchy painted sur surface. But I want to get these mailed off. Um, I'm sure that the children are going to be off maybe for a couple weeks. I don't know for the Boys and Girls Club how that works, if they get days off for the Christmas holidays. Winter break, I guess they call it now. They don't really call it Christmas vacation anymore. I I do, but holiday break, winter break, whatever they call it now. So I need something to hold that down besides my finger. Okay. And so And I'm making these, well, all the, you know, the same color. I'm not going to go and make another color. And they're all going to be the same color, although they won't be all the same as I finish. And look at there, I got that clogging up my... Okay. I also have a funeral to go to on Saturday. It seems like once you get to this age, but it was sad. It was so sad to learn about, well, I call him a child, although he was 48. He had a heart attack suddenly, and that took his life. But... I, some of you know, I talked about Mary, my friend Mary, that had been my friend for 44 years, and she passed away in January. And, um, well, then this young man was her son. And he leaves children, five children, three of them being very young. And, and um, two grown children with that have children so he was a grandpa as well and so that was very sad but um to hear that because i watched this young boy grow up i mean i he was at my house as much as he was at home my kids were at their house as much as they were at home and so to lose one of the gang is just so unbelievable so his memorial will be on Saturday. And and what's amazing about this, you know, people are wonderful. This this boy worked at aluminum company for like year years and years, putting in like screen rooms and stuff, is that's what he did. And um I guess he didn't have any life insurance or anything. And so his boss, where he works or worked his boss is paying for his entire why is that doing that did you see that hmm why is that doing that i'm seeing Hmm, that's kind of weird that that my screen was going kachunka chunka. I was watching somebody else a couple days ago and their screen was doing that. Hmm. What if I put this here? No, nope, still will do that. What if I put this here? 
still doing that. Why is it doing that? I put my hand, and this is the same way. This is the same way that um, when I was watching this girl do her, she was doing a um, auction. It was doing the same way. And it was just the bottom of the screen that would flash like that. Okay, so this is drying. Quit. Quit flashing. And I put my hands up there and it quits flashing. Let me just move my camera a little bit. No. Maybe it doesn't like purple. I want to reach around there and get my wet wipes so I can wipe this paint off right here. Let me see. I'm rich. I need to reach. God. God. That is weird. Okay, wait a minute now. Let me see. I wonder why it's doing that. I now see because I seen this happening on somebody else's screen. The very same way, I can't blame it on my computer. It might be something with StreamYard. And for hers, it was just this one. She had on this very colorful um, piece of fabric. And once she moved that fabric, it quit doing it. So I'm going to move these around a little bit so I don't have them all right there. Okay, let me move these a little bit and see what happens. No, stop. That's weird as ever. That is weird as ever. Okay, now. Okay, now I want to... Maybe it doesn't like patchiness. I don't know what it doesn't like, but that is just as strange as strange can be. Boy, even with my um, organization here, I have my heat gun right there in a flower vase. So it's always going to be there, plugged in and ready to go. Yes, me. Mandy, I do think it might be a lot to do with StreamYard. So many people now are using StreamYard. There may be other platforms to use to, to do your live streaming. And I think if we have a lot of trouble with this, that a lot of people will be looking for something else. Yeah, that's it. A lot of bandwidth, Renee. Yeah. So I, once I get these done, I'll have about 30 cards to send off. Diana says she doesn't use StreamYard. Um, Diana, what do you use for live streaming? I use OBS like Stacy. Okay. Do you use OBS? Okay, that I have not looked into that. So hi to read the lily. I'm, I might look into OBS, too, to see what that is. Do you see when my hand is there, it doesn't do that jumping? When I move my hand, it wants to jump. Oh, winds are getting really bad up there by Renee's little red wagon. Put your little red wagon inside the garage so it doesn't blow away. 
for the first time, the still wind formation is a value. Yes, it was so hard for you. The still winter nation is a guy uses stream yard and he was freezing tonight and lagging so bad he ended 30 minutes early and he's a computer guy. Okay, so it's definitely stream yard then. It's definitely stream yard that is causing the problems. Yeah, it's focusing on my hand, but why won't it just focus on what I'm doing here? What if I put this down here? Focus on that. Oh, and that's something that needs something to focus on. A single something, a single something. Um, Lizzie, what paper punch did you use for your stamps? It was a stamp punch. Who makes it? Thanks. Okay, just a minute and I will look. Um, see, do I have it in there or is it in my box? I'll have to look in just a minute, Lori. Oh, good. She said her, Renee has her wagon safely tucked away. That's good to hear. No, anything happened to that. Okay. Let me see if I can see that punch I use for stamps. And she looks in her box and she says, no, doesn't look like it's in the box. So she's got to look on, the, she's got to go look on the shoe rack and see if it's on the shoe rack on the door. It's one of my most commonly used, is this it? Nope. Where is it? Hmm. No, doesn't look <coughs> like I can see it right now, Lori. Lori, I don't know <coughs> if it is the one I think you're speaking of. I'm not sure. Let me look real quick in this box again. No luck. Yeah, no luck. No luck. I'll have to find it and let you know, Lori, because I don't have it in all my organization. It's missing. So anyway, okay. Whew. That was a good little exercise looking for that punch. That's weird, though, because I thought I had all my punches in one place. So much for that. Okay. So, now let me see. Okay, I'm going to use, now I want to have, oops, 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 oops. 
so now I've got my purple color. I used my I used my aluminum foil or plastic wrap. And now a feather bling white paint, used posted stamp, unicorn gems, UBC code, gears, gears or wheels. Okay, I think. Hmm. Gosh, this is going to be horrible. Um, I don't know how long I'll be able to stream tonight because this will drive me absolutely berserk. But I'm going to get my feathers now because I'm going to put a feather... <laughs> Lala Gamma Luiwe, hi. Colorful Dimension Susan. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh, wait, maybe this is it in here because I use it so often. I might have put it in here. This is it. Is this it, Lori? Is this the one you're talking about? It, it, um, punches a stamp shape and then when you put a postage stamp in on it it's like it frames a postage stamp just perfect is this it um if it is this brand is oh it's fiskars it's a Fiskars brand, and I haven't had it that long, so it shouldn't be, it should still be out there, because I haven't had it that long. But yeah, that's what it is, is Fiskars, and that's the postage stamp one. And so now if you need some of these just cut out in different colors, I can punch you a bunch. I can punch a bunch and um, send you some of the punches. I can do that for you. Now, I want to reach up here and get my feathers. Let's see if everything goes crazy when I move my hand. Of course. I think I might be going ahead and punch a bunch great okay i'll just punch you a bunch i know i use mostly black so i'm going to make you black a bunch of black but then i'll make you a bunch of another color too punch a bunch i will punch a bunch okay Lori has sent me beautiful things so the least thing i can do is send her beautiful things beautiful things okay now Beautiful things. Okay, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a uh, feather and I'm going to staple the feather on. And, um, and if you don't get them in a few days, Lori, just give me a jingle and kind of remind me. Because you know how my mind works. And will actually give me a week because with Thanksgiving coming up. Um, with Thanksgiving coming up, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We do have. And then Saturday. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> we got two things. Well, I will. Hmm. The memorial service is Saturday, but also his beach cleaning day is Saturday. So it might be that we got to fit in both of those. Okay, let's see. I'm just put a feather. I'm going to snip off the part that's um, bigger than the card.
but this is fun you know when you have um you don't know like when i first looked at the at the um at those i come across the stickers today when i was going through some stuff and i said oh, that would be perfect because the stickers would be perfect for the children. And so then I thought, well, what could I do with the card? And I then I remembered, oh, it's Tuesday. And we have our um we have our our ATC group. And so I said, I'll just wait and use those prompts. And then I will come up with whatever. Is going to be how I do my cards, and and it's working. See, because I wouldn't have thought of this without my prompts. My prompts are yes. The beach cleaning is a community project. My grandson Jeffrey is is going. There's some of his um, school, his homeschooling group is is going to do the beach cleanup and it's amazing how many people um kind of litter do littering and so that's what these kids are doing is they're gonna go and help with the beach cleanup and i think that's wonderful so that's going to be on Oh no, that's Friday they're doing that. That's right. That's their their Friday. It's Black Friday. Instead of going shopping and being grateful on you know you it's kind of funny, you know, you have Thanksgiving and you're all grateful for everything you have and then you go on Black Friday and kill to get the <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't say that. No, no big kills. But but yeah, so so yeah, it's Friday is the beach cleanup. And I guess there's different groups going to different um, different beaches. So that's nice. I mean, you know, give back. And, and it's not only litter that they're cleaning. It's also, you know, there might be fallen branches and I don't know, stuff like that, that you kind of can clean up. So it'll be fun, just everybody getting together, too. So here I'm just cutting. I stapled the, um, I stapled, oh boy, now let's breathe in all these feathers. Looks like a chicken just, look at, I got feathers just, feather fodder. Okay, now, now see, I think it's, I, I'm not seeing that wiggle waggle going on right now. I'm not seeing the wiggle waggle right now. I hope I'm not speaking too soon. Okay, so I'm going to get a drink of my water. Okay, wait a minute. What, 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 what? Guilty, it was me, so sorry, tell Lizzie not to do it. Tell, oh my gosh, Vicky, I used to do that, and it wasn't good for nothing for the rest of the weekend. Um, I don't know what I shouldn't not do. I'm staying home and crafting to recover from cooking for 30 people. Oh, see, for our family, here at this house, we're cooking a ham. And we have two turkey breasts. And Papa and I are making two different mashed potatoes. We're making one that is just plain old generic mashed potatoes with only butter and milk. 
salt and pepper or whatever. And the, but then the other mashed potatoes is going to have cream cheese, sour cream, chives, and that that's that's what we're doing. And I'm making the gravy. And Bambi is fixing the ham and the turkey and the dressing. And then one daughter is making. One daughter is bringing the pies and the Cool Whip and drinks. And then that's my daughter-in-law. And then um, my one daughter is making a huge pan of green bean casserole. And, and um, green bean casserole. Another daughter is making a corn casserole, sweet potato casserole. Oh, and the one daughter has got the Hawaiian rolls that we have to have, and then also yeast rolls. And then, oh, Jennifer's bringing the cranberries. And so everybody's bringing something different. Everybody's bringing something. Yeah, them jacked up taters is going to be good. I'm telling you, Renee, they jacked up. I'm telling you, jack up them taters, and I just, just give me a tater, and I'll be fine. I'm telling you, it's going to be delicious. They're going to be delicious. But me and Papa are in charge of the potatoes. So doing it that way where everybody is in charge of any, everything. Yeah, be a vegan. You can be a vegan this year. It doesn't matter. You know, I, I, I could almost be a vegan. Probably not totally vegan, but maybe vegetarian. And it would not be bad. And so... Because I can do without meat, but I do like my fish. Okay, so now I have feathers. I'll leave that punch right there so I can maybe... Oh, I'll write that on my note. Punch. Lori. Punch Lori in the face. Now, some steeps. Okay, I'll punch Lori. It says punch Lori. So don't come near me because my note says to punch Lori. Okay, so, um, yes, Ebony is our vegan vegetarian. Now, a vegan, I think, is like super, super vegetarian, I think, where you don't eat anything that has ever even been anywhere related to an animal. Oh, Ebony says, I'm a whole food based vegan, different animal. Actually, snow animal. A whole food based vegan. Hmm. Okay, and Gail is making green bean casserole, meatless bread dressing, sweet potatoes, and dinner rolls. Oh, and pumpkin pies, of course, from scratch. Even the even the um, pie crust do you make from scratch, Gail? Ebony says no salt, oil, flour, or sugar. So it's like gluten. There's one gluten-free bread that I make that I use. Um, I use almond flour. Buckwheat flour and almond, buckwheat, and coconut flour. So I don't know if that would be vegan or not, but it's good. And you do do the pie crust too, Gail. That's amazing. See, that's since my daughter-in-law is doing the, um, we don't get the day before thing. Well, maybe we will get the day before Thanksgiving smells. Maybe I'm going to bake a pie just so I get the smells. Because I think I'll make, I, I need to make a sugar-free pie. So I'm going to, I'm going to look for, for recipes. Oh my gosh, Debbie Hayes is expecting the worst storm ever on Saturday. That's amazing. Fresh cranberries Lala's bringing. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh, um, Gail's mama taught her to make pies when she was no, nine years old. That's amazing. That's just truly amazing. Okay, let's see now what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to 
because all right now i can circle i've only done two things i've um let's see my paint i've used paint so i can circle that word paint and i'm going to and the feathers i can circle that i used feathers okay i'm gonna now get because this was my this was my um oh my goodness you know what my bling is gonna be these eyes these were sent to me i think esther sent me these i love them eyes okay but then i love googly eyes okay and that might be what i'll use for my bling and what did i do with my stickers elizabeth marie where'd you put them stickers just, oh right here in front of god and everybody so now if i take these stickers because these stickers are going to what is going to be super 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 for the children let me see and so and i'm going to put that like over over the um feather part of the feather that one says read with meow now i wonder if these are going to stick or if i'm going to need to stitch them with the sewing machine this one says a day without reading is rough rough trina is here hello kathleen elliott could be floaters in your eyes making you see like that. That's right. Them floaters is causing me a lot of trouble. Okay. Well, I'm glad my computer isn't flashing like that. I don't like things to be flashing. This one says, I love a good tail. And there's the little dog. These stickers are adorable and perfect for the children. The, the way they are written. And... Um, Books are so cool, this one says. So I will have quite a few. Um, I got 18 and 20, 22, plus 12, 23, 30, 23. I'll have 34 ATCs to send. And then I got a couple things too that I want to put in for her treasure box because she's also got a treasure box. And um, that the children, they have to earn the right to go into the treasure box. And so I've got a few little things that I'm going to send along that will go in the treasure box. And so if anybody is wanting to, to join up with Art for the Art, Art, Heart from the Heart, which is for the children, it is for our future. Our future children need to learn kindness. If you learn kindness from the very beginning of life, that goes through forever. So, see here, I could use my sticker. See now, it says unicorn, but instead of unicorns, I'm using cats and dogs. So that could take care of one of my one of my one of my prompts and <laughs> how if you love reading oh my goodness chill out with a good read this one says chill out with a good read these are going to be awesome reading makes me happy and, and reading doesn't mean that it's just for a reading class. Reading is reading history, reading science, reading the street signs, reading your ATC cards. Get your paws on a good book. These are so cute. This one says anytime is a perfect time to read. Now it's a kitty cat on there. 
that helps hold that feather down. And this one says, books put a smile on my face. And those are perfect. These are going to be so cool. Oh, Susan Baker's puppy has to go out. Susan Baker, yeah, I think one of those happy meals was to you this morning. I think. I think so. I do think so. Okay, now. Now, I, I love these little eyes, but you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm not going to put them on. Do I want to put them on the animals? <laughs> oh, maybe I do. I don't know. They're so cute just how they are. But I think I will. So this is going to be my bling. This is going to be my bling right here. These are so cute. Oh, Lala said sweetest dreams, Alf. So Alf, you're going to sleep. You have a good snooze. You have a very good snooze. Okay, yes, we're going to give these guys some, we're going to give these, eye. all of these guys are going to have a little eye surgery. I'm going to give them this bling. Okay. <laughs> so fun. There's your eyes, Mr. Kitty Cat. <laughs> you need some little eyes too. Let's see, we're going to get, oh, you're going to have these heart eyes. Look at that. Look at that. How cute are you? And you need some eyes, too. Just a minute. Let me see what we can find for you. You're going to have, um, sorry, but they're just kind of plain wiggle eyes. We're going to put them for you. Because mm -hmm. you're special. Look at you there with those wiggle eyes. And now, oh, um, books are so cool. Now that. You look like you should have green eyes. Yeah. Okay, now let's look. Those eyes look kind of mean. I, I think, wait a minute now, look here. I think you need some hard eyes, Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty Cat, let's give you some hard eyes. Oh, look at this here, guy. Oh, you would want these ones, these with these beautiful, beautiful eye, um, with a beautiful eye shadow. Now look at you. Oh, you need these ones. You need them eyes right there. Those are cute, cute, cute. Now you've already got glasses, but um, we're gonna give you something. We're gonna give you these eyes. There you go. Look at that. Now, that's a tired dog. It says, howl if you love reading. Or maybe he's howling. Okay, so let, oh, he needs these stars. The star of the show right there. Okay, now, who doesn't have eyes? Oh, look at that kitty there. That kitty needs some pretty eyes. Let's go with yourself here. Um, here you go. Look at them. Them are nice. Now, does everybody have eyes? Well, you got them glasses and you got glasses, but you're going to have to have eyes too. Now, some of these eyes are like a big one and a little one. Let's see. No, I don't like them on you. You need to have, your eyes needs to be symmetrical. Okay, you kitty cat, you get them eyes. And then, oh, look at you, Elton John dog. You're going to have moons in your eyes. There you go. Everybody has eyes. Everybody, everybody, raise your eye at hand if you don't have eyes. Okay, everybody has eyes. Okay, so now we're going to put these back in this little slip because I got more eyes to use. For another day. Okay, so now that's my bling. I'm calling that my bling. Okay, now I didn't do a unicorn, but I did do an animal. So this is an animal. Now, this is looking good. 
<laughs> I love this guy with his yowling. With his howling. Yeah, raise your paw. Okay, look at that. Now, now we want to have, let's see, gears or wheels, UPC code. Oh, my nose is itching. It must be all this feather stuff. Gems, used postage stamp. Hmm. I think a postage stamp would be awesome. A used postage stamp. And put that up here. Yeah, I think it's going to get a postage stamp on there. Sure. Let me get my stamps. I got a box of stamps in my organization stuff. Oh, Mark. Roberta Zima. RV. RW is Vicky out of control. Oh, Vicky doesn't get um um Vicky doesn't get out of control, really. Really? Really? Hmm. I want to see that. Oh, that would be that would be entertaining seeing Vicky out of control. Okay, let me see. Just a minute. I'm getting the stamps. Postage stamps. Of course, it's going to be in the box. That's harder to get to. It's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind hard work. Put this right here. And then get this one. Put this here. And then we'll get this one. Postage stamps. Postage. Postage stamps. Yes. So. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here and get these scrap papers right here. I just so happen to have some scrap papers in a cigar box. I'm the cigar box champion. You wait till y'all see the cigar boxes I have for my next auction. Whoa, they are awesome. They are so awesome. They're awesome. I'm going to fill them all, too, with stuff. I'm going to have them filled with stuff. So I have cigar boxes filled with stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find... Whew, here, now... I'm going to get my See uh, this is what I, this is what I'm going to do. I have all these stamps. These are all used postage stamps. And what I'm going to do is I am going to just take them and I'm going to trim around them like this. These are the stamps we used to have to lick. We don't have to lick stamps anymore. Don't ever lick stamps. Don't ever lick anything except ice cream cone. Now, see, when we put this on here, oh, it's a little too wide. I gotta trim this edge off. Okay. Then we're gonna put this on here. See, when you put the stamp, on this stamp background, holy macaroni. I think it looks pretty awesome. Now, let me see. I'm going to glue that on here like this. Like this. And you might be saying, well, it doesn't match anything. Well, but it does because it gives more things to look at. So we're going to have a stamp. We're going to have a postage stamp. Now, see, I wouldn't have thought to put a postage stamp on here if I didn't have it written from the prompts. From the prompts. Let's see, I'm going to some glue under here. There. Now, see how nice? That's cool. This is what I'll be sending you is a bunch of these. Oh, look, here's one I had already glued on. 
And so I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this one. This was already glued on a little piece of paper. Let's put that one right here like that. Now, oh, what is this one? This is from another somewhere, a different somewhere, not from America. It's not from America. It's not from the United States of America. Maybe I won't put that one there because it's like small. Okay, now this one here is from somewhere else too. It says a hundred on it. Let's see. A hundred. Yeah, we don't Budapest. Oh, nice. Oopsie daisies. Oopsie daisies. Budapest. Bur Budapest. My hubs won't eat it. I have nine loaves to disperse. I love cigar ephemera. Grew up in a cigar store. My nana's in Michigan. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. You grew up in a cigar store. Boy. That's amazing. Yeah, we have um what used to be like the cigar capital of the world down in Tampa. It's called Ybor City. And um and I don't know how many cigars they still make down there. If they even make cigars. Oh, there's one I got already. That I think that's a Canadian stamp. It's already on a on a thingamajig. Yeah, some of them I just sit here and do and then just throw them in my because sometimes I get like like not bored, but I just want to do something, you know. And oh, here's one. It's got Madonna, the Mother Mary, and the baby. Mother Mary and the baby. And here's the glue. And so here, this will go right there. See? Now, there's going to be so many things for the eye to see on these. I'm one that says more is better. Some people say less is more. And I say more is more. There's not too many things that I just do a little on. Most everything is like a lot on. Because I'm I'm a I'm a yeah, that's just what I am. In. That's what I am. I'm a something. And yeah. Uh oh. Corner Ebony. Is Ebony causing trouble? Heaven is get causing trouble. I don't know what we can do about that. Yeah. Oh, we wouldn't like Gail if she was angry. There's a three cent stamp on here. Some of these stamps are really, really old. I'm not a stamp collector as far as is um is the worth of the stamp. I just like stamps. I just like stamps. I do. I do like stamps. And I like old stuff. Not so much even because of the worth of it. It's just, I just love history. History. And when I get something old, after I get, when I get something old, it's like I, um, it's it's like I, I have a piece of history. And if it's worth something, that's all well and good. But it doesn't matter if it's worth. Well, even, you know, well, look, I have right here. Look at this. This was sent to me. It's got a two-cent stamp on it. And it is a letter. There is a letter in here. This letter was written October 19th, 1890. 1890. That was a few days ago. 
1890 this letter was written and and here it went it went to Ch no it must have came from chicago and went to lake Vilongo, indiana and that's all the address that's on it is william hersha esquire esq lake Vilongo, indiana It's, it's um, October 22nd, it says here. Can't really see the year on it. But 1890 is when this was written. I just love to hold it in my hand. I just do love to hold it in my hand. Now here, these two are on green. This is a newer stamp because that's a 34 cent stamp right there. So it's newer. And so I'm going to put this one on this guy. Let's see? He'll be beautiful right there. That'll be beautiful. Okay. And then this guy, this one's from Postage One Penny. But I don't know where from. So, but I think it's from another country. Just thinking that. Not sure. I don't know for sure. I don't know anything for sure. Lori says to Gail that she's being good tonight. And Gail, she is, she is like, um, keeps track. She keeps track. Okay, she keeps track of who's good and who's not so good. And the ones that's not so good, you're going to get a note sent home to your mother. That's right, a note to send home to your mother. Ah, joy, you said hi to Joy. Is that my Joy? Oh, I need to. Oh. Oh, she has a naughty or nice list. Gail is on track with keeping up with good behavior. And, it, and she's sending that. It is Joy. Joy Robinson's my friend. She's my friend. She's my sister. Yep. Okay. Oh, this guy needs a stamp still. Oh, these are going to be fun for the chillings. For the chillings. I think they're going to like these googly eyes. That's what they're going to like the best. They're going to say, oh, man, I love them googly eyes. I know they will. I know they will. The googly eyes. So hopefully I have these. Let's see, tomorrow's Wednesday. They may not get mailed off till Friday. So, um, so Karen, if you're watching this, probably Friday is when I'm going to have these mailed off to you for your class okay does everybody have stamps okay raise your paw if you don't have a stamp they all look like stamped they're all stamped okay so now i think they're just beautimous i think they are just beautimous 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 why won't this lid go on here oh it's on Oh, I could turn them pets into unicorns. How would I make a little? You know what? I could. Hi, Karen. Karen, yes, you heard your name. You see these? The Friday. I'm thinking Friday is when these are going to be mailed off. But I got 12 going right here. I have these st stickers. Like this one says, reading makes me happy. This one says, chill out with a good book. Books are so cool. Reading makes me sore. How, howl if you love reading. Get your paws into a good book. Reading is cool. Books put a smile on my face. Anytime is a perfect time to read. Read with meow. A day without reading is rough. I love a good tale. These are all animals. They are all. 
they're all um, dogs and cats. But since since the the prompt said unicorns, I am good. And now I was just somebody just mentioned that I could make them into unicorns. And so, well, I already gave them new eyes. So I am now. Let me see. Now, this is going to be my bling, which is a unicorn horn. That doesn't show very good, though. I don't think the chillins will be able to see that. I need to give the chillins a better, some darker, a darker unicorn horn. Okay, so that one will just be shiny. Oh, yeah, this is better. This is a better unicorn horn. These will have to dry overnight. Here you go. This one's getting a unicorn horn. But I have these ones ready. Oh, well, they will be ready. They're not quite ready. But then I have, I don't know if you noticed, I already posted them on the page. But I have these four that I made last week, Karen, and um, they're going. It just says learning is fun. Then I have 18 of these. Then these are all Christmas ones. And it's got a little dimensional Santa or a snowman. Santa or a snowman on each one. And some glittery snowflakes. And those are all ready to go. And so once these ones are ready to go, then I'll put them all in a little box. And I cut a couple of little things that will be for the treasure box. I am having fun, fun, fun. Okay, now what was I doing? Oh, I'm making these into unicorns. Unicorns are us. Now, these don't want to come. This doesn't want to come out of here. I'll put that one back up there and get this one. And, oh, Crafty Kitty. Your real name is Joy as well. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So anybody who is interested in joining the Art for the Heart Art from the Heart group and make um, ATCs for the children, she it, the address is in the files in um, in the files in the Scrap and Lizzie Unicorn group, and you'll find the address there. And oh, there, that's going to work where you can send them now she will also take anything that goes in the treasure box so what you would think of you know just you know maybe dollar store things i'm not sure exactly but look at that yes you're a unicorn you're a unicorn now things and i got just a few little things that's going to go in in the you know in the, for the treasure box too so So anyhow, and Karen, do you still have the pocket pages for them? And do you need to have or real dollars? She said, send real dollars. Um, I'm wondering about your the binders. Do you have the binders still? Or do you need more binders? I know you said you had some of the same children from last year. Somebody sent binders last year. I think Janie Sills did that last year. Or maybe she sent the pages. Oh, and Roy is there. Roy is just a dancing. Uh-oh. Lala is hitting Donna with a rubber band. I'm telling you, this is the most out of control class. Okay, let me see if all of these have got, yeah, these, all of them have unicorn horns. So they're all pretending that they're unicorns. Okay, that's very good. Very, very, very good. And then for some more bling, 
I think I'm just going to go and find a spot. Let me see, I'm gonna move my stuff around here. And um, I'm going to just put some spots here. Whoopsie. We're just going to get some spots in some places without spots. So these will have to dry overnight. I may get them out tomorrow in the mail, but knowing me, that's probably more of a may not. But I feel good that I have this many ready almost to go. That makes me feel good. I'll go there. There's some little spots. And some little spots. I think this is, you know what I think I'll do once these are all dry in the morning, I'll take my purple ink pad and I'll go around the edge. Since I have the purple paint, I think that's what I'll do is I'll go around the edge of the card. Now, probably round the corners. I like round corners. And I'll put my backs on them and put them in a little plastic envelope. And looks like everybody has some bling here yes looks good if you ask me i think it looks good so these will be fun oh see susan says she's welcoming diana to the crazy class yeah it's okay everybody every every yeah everybody should have a crazy class and um my whole family is kind of crazy so I know how to act in a crazy class. But look at all these now. Look at all these. This dog is a unicorn. This cat is a unicorn. These are beautiful unicorns. These are beautiful and they got to get dry. And, oops, I got to move this box. Put it on the floor. See, this is what I happen. I go get stuff from where it belongs. And then, okay, and then I just dump it all in my way. But now these have to stay here to dry. Now, I didn't think I'd get all these done today because I was doing 12 at a time. But, oh, my gosh, I've seen some that Tracy Turner made. She has made some awesome cards that she's sending. She has sent, made some awesome cards beautiful they're beautiful very beautiful there now those are those have to dry because the stickles on them has to dry they're so cute i love them and they'll all get put in a little plastic sleeve to protect them i'll put on the back of them i'm going to put the information on these ones i just wrote like this is learning is from from Miss Lizzie in Florida, but on the I might do the same kind of thing back here too, so they'll be able to read it easier because they're younger. These these kids are younger, like five and like six and seven. Yeah, they were. These stickers were perfect. When I saw them stickers, I said, I know where them stickers are going to go because everyone had a message. Every one of them had a message about reading. And that's what the, I just smushed. I just smushed that ink on there by pushing. Well, I got to fix that. I got to fix that one there. Let me see. I'll just go over the top of it and make it even more of a. No, that green, that's right. That green is stuck. I just don't know why these things clog up. And I leave them upside down. Maybe somebody out there knows what makes these things clog up. They don't all clog up, but some do. Okay, now, there. That's better now. That's better. Okay, like I said earlier... I was in confession, 
and I was confessing that I had quite a few of these door prizes that I hadn't mailed out. And um, rubber bands are shooting across the room. Now, hmm, now you stop that, Vicky. You put them rubber bands in your pocket. You go send to the office. Yes, 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 Gail, I think I'm ready. We'll do the door prize. These envelopes that I have put, I've saved these envelopes because these envelopes were sent to me by Jeanette Cook. Jeanette is the one who made all of these little stickers here that I can put on, on my envelopes. And she sent them to me in these beautiful envelopes. And so, and she sent them to me. I got four envelopes. See, I got three more still. But look at how neat they are, all black and white. And I couldn't throw those away. So I am reusing them. I just opened them up on the very edge. And then that's what I got. So let me show you what I have in here. Okay, in case, you know, if you want to win this bunch of junk, Let me see if I can safely pull these things out. In here, you will find that when you get when you the winner, the champion gets this, you will find this and this and this, which are stickers. They're like vellum stickers. Look at this Victorian lady. I love her. I love her. I love her. So you will get those. You will get this number 10 of spades. It's a vintage card, old vintage. I think it's Voro, actually. You'll get a saw just in case you get locked in a house and you got to make a hole. Here is a picture of a young girl. And that's one of the Tim Holtz. I think these are Tim Holtz. These here pictures, those are nice. Here's a stamped image of a house mouse. And he's got some eggs. This is a vintage postcard. From 1917, one cent stamp on it says "Forget Me Not." This is another vintage postcard. It's got something written in. Um, <laughs> I know this word is Lohenbrau, so I, I'm assuming German. And that one, 1913. That's interesting, right there. Official postcard. That's nice. That's a nice one. Here you get you in third place with this card, with this ribbon. I colored this. It says, in my heart, I'm holding you tight. That's some of my coloring. I was sent a box full of little things to color. And so that's what that is. This here is a pocket that goes in a in the back. Of, it's a library pocket that you can put in the back of a journal. And it's um and it's self-sticking. So you just peel that off and stick it. If this is too much stuff, just let me know. I'll take some out. This is a time card. Here is a, it's a thick wording thing that says collect beautiful moments. Here is two trivial pursuit cards. This is my name in case, I don't know what. And this is a, pit, a, a card out of a um, Richard Strauss. Hmm. Out of the um card catalog here's a guest check so when you have a guest come to your house you can leave them a bill this is a little paper that you put a report a uh, uh, telephone message on and this do -yo 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 -ing, is a magic box this is a magic box and if you watched my if you watch my video that I put up yesterday about making these here magic boxes, you'll know how to make them. So that's in there. Okay, and then there is a little piece of this beautiful fiber. That's all in it. So, okay, so that is what is in this mail, in this envelope that Jeanette Cook actually decorated, and I am recycling it. I am recycling it. Yeah. So, uh oh now see, I've been running in my mouth. And now Gail said we're ready. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to 
I'm going to go in my bucket. And I'm going to take these cards out. And I am going to pick a number. I'm just going to go right in the middle here. Let's cut the deck. Okay, now let's go in the middle. Let's take this one right here. La, 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 la. Put the rest of them in here because these are not winners. All of these do not go in the word. Hello, Joe and um, Violet, Bonnie Lipke. Look at these. 79 people came to my house. How wonderful. Am I ever blessed? Okay. So thank you all for coming with me. I'm leaving now. Oh, no, that's what I got to tell this here number. Let's see what it is. 17. Number 17. So who was down low? Down low. 17. 17. 17. Who is closest to 17 without going over, out going over? Who is the closest to number 17? Because your name is going to go on this here envelope. This envelope. Coco. That's Portuguese for, are you Portuguese, Portuguese, Joy Evany? I had a Portuguese guy, one of my friend's husbands, he made Portuguese, Portuguese stew for us one day. It had eggs in it. I loved it. Okay. Marge West. Marge West. Does everybody agree it's Marge? Yep. Okay, it is. Marge. Marge West. Let me look real quick in my address book and see if, if Miss Marge West is in my address book. If not, she's going to have to see me her address. Marge West would be on the W page if she's in here. And mm, that would be a no. Okay, Marge, send me your address. Send me your address in my email. Are you in the United States of America? I mean, you can be anywhere. East do what? Now, there is Renee sticking her tongue out at Lala. Are you trying to catch flies on that tongue? My goodness, my goodness. My goodness. Yeah, Lala says, no, he's put Renee in a corner. I don't know. Renee's a little spoiled. Uh, don't make her go in a corner. Yes. Oh, Marge is in Canada. Okay, so I have to put a... Um, Marge is in Canada, so I have to put a... International stamp on here, which... I just so happen to have. Where's my little thing that's got my, where's my little thing? My thing, my thing, my thing, and my thing with my stamps. Is this it? Yeah. So I have international stamps. If I don't, I will just flip and have to go to the postal orifice. But I do believe that I do in this envelope. In this envelope, I think I have international forever stamps. I'm still looking because I think I got them. International, just a minute in this here pouch. Okay, well, if I don't have an international stamp, I can just put a, I can just put an outer national 
few stamps, just like I think an inter. Huh? I use all my international stamps. That cannot be. Okay, well, if I used all my international stamps, I think an international stamps is like a dollar twenty. So if I just how much, you guys, is international stamp? International means. I mean, you don't have to have an international stamp. It's just that I had bought some forever international, inster, whatever. I can't even talk. So what I will do here then is I will just put, since it's going to Canada, Canada, we're going to put three stamps. One, two, and then this should get all of them. That should get it up there to you in in good order. You know what? Just for giggles, I'll put this extra stamp on here. This one's for... Um, This one's for like a postcard, but um, I keep getting these notifications. Okay, so nobody's telling me how much. Okay, that's enough stamps. That should do it. Marge, if this gets to you and, and they say that you own one, it's funny though, if you put more than enough postage, they don't give you no refund, but like I sent a whole out a whole bunch of boxes for my auction and two of them did not have enough postage on. I don't know why, because we measured and weighed everything and we paid what the shipping company said to pay. But there was two that didn't have enough shipping and they went right to the shipping company that I use and told them and took the money, just got the money. But they don't give me my refund if I pay too much. What's wrong with that story? That's what I want to know. Okay, so March we March West is the champion. Now, I got put stamp. Oh, wait, March. When is your birthday? I keep forgetting about these. What month? A dollar and 15 cents? Oh, well, they've got way more than they need then. Okay, dollar 15. Okay, when did, what month is your birthday, March? What month? Because we got to get a tag in there for your month. What month is your birthday, Marge? What month? March. March. Please come to my desk, please. March. March. What month is your birthday, Marge? Does anybody see March? Is she in a broom closet again? Golly, when you need Christmas, I need Marge's birth month. Marge, what month? Marge, you might be a little over an ounce. I don't know. Okay, wait a minute. I'm I'm waiting to see. April? Okay, it's April. Okay, somebody must have went and looked at the birthday thing. March. Okay, April. It's right here. Oh. Birthstone Diamond. She's active and dynamic, mentally strong, loves attention, friendly, and solves people's prob problems. She's brave and fearless. She's loving and caring, and she is adventurous. So she, she gets this little tag that says April. It's I made these a long time ago. Because I was putting them on some personalized things that I was making and selling at the at my um craft shows, but I got oh so many of these left over, and I said, Well, you know what? I need to put those indoor prices. So then you will get that little doohickey right there. Now I'm glad I remembered that because I've not been remembering them. So um I will leave it up to all of my wrenches. God, it doesn't show wrenches now. Huh. 
it well it would if I would have got it up on the on my phone but I didn't so so up oh it's heavy I'm gonna get piece of tape here Hear that noisy tape there we go now that's better so make sure that's sealed there we go it's ready I'll just put oh now look at her name blurred on there I'll fix it okay so I just need to get her address I already got the stamps I already got it sealed ready to go in the mailbox just as long as I get the address in the emailed then it's all going to be good now okay so now I need to find a little something to read I think today I'm going to read let's see I'm gonna get this book oh not that nobody wants to hear that stuff um what to do with that book maybe that's just favorite is this 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 one. Okay, well, I'll do this one. Someone cares. Well, this is a favorite is one too. Someone cares by Helen Steiner Rice. Now, let's hear the magic of love. The magic of love, and that's Helen Steiner Rice wrote this. Love is like magic. And it always be, for love still remains a life's sweet mystery. Love works in ways that are wondrous and strange, and there's nothing in life that love cannot change. Love can transform the most commonplace into beauty and splendor and sweetness and grace. Love is unselfish, understanding, and kind, for it sees with its heart and not with its mind. Love is the answer that everyone seeks. Love is the language that every heart speaks. Love can't be bought. It is priceless and free. Love, like pure magic, is a sweet mystery. So that's it for tonight. I'm glad that you all come. And like I say, Thursday will be Thanksgiving, so I won't be on, on live. I might come on live maybe sometime over the weekend. I'll have to see how things go. And so, but I thank every one of you for coming by. It just, you just make my heart, you just make my heart sing and smile. And it's wonderful. And so I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on our next video. God bless. Now I'm going to go pop out some of these stamps for, for my Lori as I go end broadcast. End broadcast. There.